Right, let's take this uh, 1984 stroke 85, certainly on a B registration. Uh, Land Rover 90 2.5 fitted with a 200 TDI um, for a spin. Ignition light and oil light come up properly, as does the cold start light. Starts nicely. Uh, heater fan certainly works. Reasonable amount of heat from the heater, certainly a bit more than the usual dribble. Right, off we go. In the gear would help, wouldn't it? Got power steering, which is um, quite nice. It's not uh, notchy or anything. That's got an enormous set of wheels and tyres on it, and a fairly heavy lift as well, this one. Right. So, what can we tell you about this? Um, so, fitted with a 200 TDI, well, which seems in rude health. Nice clutch on it. Gearbox is, uh, feels good. There's no synchro problems or jumping out of gear or anything with the gearbox. Is that my phone ring? Um, it just... Uh, just gets on with it basically, the synchros all feel good. The whole drivetrain feels really quite solid actually, there's no uh, backlash if I'm letting my foot off the throttle or um, changing gear or anything. Uh, so all the uh, joints and everything all feel quite good. The only thing I can criticise it on is possibly something to do with the fact that A it's been lifted and B it's got uh, a huge set of um, wheels and tyres in it. but. Uh, it does tend to, to wander very slightly, you have to sort of um, let it go where it feels like up to a point. A lot of them do that after a while, it may well be that some of the steering joints uh, just need a little bit of tightening up, or well, maybe as I say because of the, uh, the geometry of the steering as it is with the lift kit on it, but uh, it's not excessive, it's probably just about the bounds of what's acceptable for one of these. Well, the point, the speedo isn't working, uh, showing 87,000 miles, but uh, uh, clearly that isn't now correct. I need to check the old MOTs to see how long that's been uh, not working. Um, if we sell it for the asking price, it's not um, not beyond the realms of possibility that we can sort the speedo out. More than likely, just a, a, a snap cable normally is on these. Fuel gauge and temperature gauge, they are working fine. Into fifth, pulls along really nicely. Changing down into second, no problem at all with the synchros, they're very good. And so it's nice on the steering, this one as well, in terms of its weight. Ooh. Get a bit muddy. Loads of grunt from the turn of TDI. Accelerates well. There's no nasty smoke out the back or anything. So really, just apart from that steering wonder that I've mentioned, it's, um, it drives impeccably actually. Really nice gearbox on it. There we go. Temperature gauge is sitting correctly just below the halfway point. There's no nasty bumps, clunks, groans, rattles or squeaks at all. It just uh, gets on with the job, basically. A really rather pleasant land, it looks great.
That's about it really. My name's Simon. You can reach me on 0771 906 9353 or in the office on 0118 946 3352 or you can go to our website which is www.motodrome.co.uk and